From inside the walls of Manila's high-security prison, the hopeful strains of Everything's Coming Up Roses filters out. There's a new way idle hands within are passing the time. These inmates, many of whom are serving life sentences, have found a way to escape their prison bars through musical ones, if even momentarily. Among them, convicted thieves, robbers, kidnappers and murderers, preparing for their debut concert as a symphony orchestra and choral group. It's almost a dream come true for 48-year-old Fidel Rana. Using his father's old trombone, he always wanted to be a musician. But now, he's serving two life terms for double murder. Before this, we used to sit around inside with our thoughts. Now we practice, and the days go by quicker, and we're distracted. By playing with the orchestra, the prisoners get points for good behavior and are able to have their sentences commuted. It's all part of the Bureau of Corrections reformation program. We would just like them to have a free expression of their sentiment while inside. And in, and in that way, uh, they will be softened, uh, their, their morale will be high. Prisoners will tell you that life behind bars is no picnic, but officials have found ways to keep them productive. The symphony orchestra is not the first or only activity of its kind in the Philippines. The dancing detainees of Cebu received international acclaim when video of their synchronized interpretations made it to the internet. And the high-security inmates in Manila also benefited from previous fashion courses taught to them in prison by noted designers. Their creations are even available on the market. For these musicians, playing with the orchestra gives them a whole new outlook on how to conduct themselves with pride. And at the end of every performance, they are able to return to their cells feeling a little bit more hopeful. Through music, the scales of justice have helped bridge the outside world with their inner one. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.